Good day to you. I thought I would try something a bit different. So, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so to begin, what are we doing? It is going to be a little boost in performance. Now this actually was doing okay, but I just decided I would kind of be future proof in case my plans changed a little bit. So I'm just going to throw in a little bit of RAM. This is not like the highest performance of even this series, but I think it's pretty sufficient for what I do. But I was excited at the prospect of having a modification video. Now granted, this is not what I get around in, but this is what I get a lot of stuff done in. So, today, all I'm using, little screwdriver, and I'm choosing to wear gloves. I don't know that everybody's going to want to, but I figure it can't hurt to avoid getting grease from my fingers on that. I'm told that this is a very user-friendly thing to do, as opposed to, you know, previously maybe it was a little bit more difficult. I haven't done this at all, so you might watch me ruin something that I just got. But probably not. I'm just gonna work my way around the screws. And I think I have to dig around for a pick. Unless I'm really lucky and I find my tire levers or something plastic that I can use to just pry gently on the case. Cross your fingers for me. Watch, this is the only time where somebody lies to me in my entire life. And the screws just fall straight out of the case. Heard a couple of clicks, so I'm not sure if that's the captive just letting go or if it's just at a point where it returns and falls back into the threads. We'll time lapse all of this so it's a little quicker. Oh, here we go. Isn't this lucky? All right, so these are actually like base thickness picks that just happen to be guitar sized. And it's a huge gimmick. It looks like a pack of matches, but I don't know. It's pretty clever. I still have some left over, which is lucky because uh, that is going to help me pry this case open. When prying around the edges, it's very important that you stay very gentle, try to use the plastic as much as you can, and when you run across one of your screws, just in case, because you might think you have it all the way out, and I really did, because I did hear some clicking, you back it out even then, and you just gently apply some, well, I mean, okay, I've spoiled the surprise here, I've got the case off, but you gently apply pressure right next to the screw, Gentle, 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 and then you you back that screw out of there. But, yeah, nonetheless, here we are. This would be the part where we get the valve covers off. Or, I don't know, something else comes off. And, voila, here we are. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Alright, but seriously, though. Uh-oh. Gonna have to come back. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Uh, I believe this is a cover. This is what I can't see. Ah, and I was right. This is, this is definitely it. 
So that's a cover. And I got very lucky. I mean, okay, <sighs> not really, but also yes, really. Uh, what we have is a cover over the original RAM. And that's fine. Um, I would like, I mean, I don't know anything else except that I learned from here. So that's the guy. Technically, you're just watching his video with an idiot trying to do it. Uh, but yeah, shout out to It's Been Repaired and Reviewed. Thank you so much, because now we can get back on track. Here we have the RAM. It's not what I want. I'm going to <laughs> pull these out to the sides, and just like a little toaster, or I don't know, <gasps> Nintendo. It's like a Nintendo. Kind of. Or a VCR. Or both. Down here, in the bottom right, I am pointing at one of the two levers. There's one on either side. I need them both open to slide this RAM back in. And I'm sure that there's like some people that take apart computers all the time that don't feel too intimidated by this step. But I don't want to get it. Bang on. So. Done, right? I can just flip it over and go back to it. Well, no. Of course not. No, of course not. Alright, so. Job number one, safely store my otherwise brand new RAM away with its uh, title card up, we'll call it that anyway, the little void of removed sticker, I guess, and like a magic magnet, the screwdriver has picked up the screw, now because this is a fine machine thread, I'm going to back screw it. cover is the lightest little bit, just, just about rolling, I don't know, I don't have an analogy for it, just be gentle, just be gentle is the analogy, just that on, firm pressure, cover back on, applying gentle pressure, Unfortunately, I'm just, you're gonna have to deal with me, because I'm here and I'm doing this video. I have to appear in it at least once. Lots of clicking. So, yeah. Just a little bit more than just my fingers, just really not meant to take a whole lot. Almost got that. This is the turnkey moment in most mod videos. This is much less exciting for... Uh, you know what? I'm excited. Shut up. I'm excited. Good gains. Okay, so far so good. I don't know if this means anything. Your boy is a dummy. But, on the upside, you also get to hear about yet another YouTube channel that has helped me get where I'm going. <sighs> Thank you to Windows Report for showing me exactly where to check on my system. Now, to exciting news. And uh, one, and two, and three. So, what do I have for you? This 16 gigabytes, or 15.7. All right, it's just like horsepower. You never get what you want. But, you know what, I'm happy, it's in there, it's registering, it's bedded right, Se seated right, it's seated right. So, that's it for today, I'm Cameraman Dave, and this has been modifying a computer instead of driving a car.